And now, stand by for adventure. Three, two, one. In the exciting story of... The Treacherous Pirate. At last, it was finished. The beautiful necklace of pink seashells which Scratch had made for his dear old mother. Yes, this was Mama Scratch's birthday. And now, clutching his gleaming gift, the caveman hops aboard Bleep's Butomic Time Machine. It is this wonderful invention that will carry Scratch back through time and space to his boyhood home. The hatch closes. The power goes on. And away he goes. Back through the countless centuries he speeds to arrive in the time of the Stone Age. And there they are, Papa Scratch, just as handsome as ever, and Mama Scratch, looking even lovelier with her beautiful pink seashell necklace. They all spend a wonderful day together, but soon it is evening and Scratch speeds back once more to his friends on Zero Zero Island. Unknown to the caveman, however, his every move has been carefully watched by Black Patch, the villainous one-eyed leader of the bloodthirsty space pirates. At last, Black Patch has learned the secret of Colonel Bleep's time machine, and now he has a plan, a plan to capture Colonel Bleep alive. And so, at the stroke of midnight, the hatch of the time machine closes again. Then almost as quickly as it vanished, it returns. Carrying not one passenger, but two. Bleep awoke with a start. There was trouble in the air. He could feel it. Then, sure enough, he found it. To Colonel Bleep. Surrender to me at the top of the moon. Or Mama Scratch dies at the hour of noon. Black Patch. Yes, it was true. Black Patch had kidnapped poor Mama Scratch, and only Bleep could save her. Without delay, the Colonel speeds off for the moon to willingly surrender his life in exchange for Mama Scratch's freedom. Minutes later, Squeak and Scratch also discovered the kidnapper's terrible note. But Scratch found something else the spaceman had missed. A trail of gleaming pink seashells. Seashells from Mama Scratch's birthday necklace. Somehow, Mama had managed to leave this clue for her faithful son to follow. And so, off they went in hot pursuit, tracking the seashell trail deep into the dense jungle. At that very moment, high on the moon, Bleep spotted the pirate man. Listening carefully, the colonel learned this was a treacherous trap. The evil Black Patch had no intention of freeing Mama Scratch at all, even if Bleep does surrender. In fact, at this instant, Mama is back on Zero Zero Island, staring into the muzzle of a powerful pirate cannon. At exactly noon, the scorching rays of the sun will ignite the cannon's fuse, and Mama's life will be lost in one blinding flash. Yes, at last, Bleep knew the terrible truth. Back toward Zero Zero Island, he streaked. But was there still time? Good grief, it's already too late. The fuse of the cannon has burst into flame. But look up above. It squeak and scratch. But what can they do? Only seconds remain. From high above, Bleep sees the whizzing cannonball streak straight for the top of the moon to land in the midst of the startled pirate gang. And so, Mama Scratch was saved. And you can bet 
she will never forget the day a birthday necklace of pink seashells and the courageous action of her boy and his friends saved her from a terrible fate. It was certainly true. No mother anywhere ever had a more wonderful son. Bye-bye, Mama. And give our love to Papa Scratch. Oh!